Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Wyatt and today I'm going to be teaching you about variables on Roblox. Okay, so variables are a very fundamental concept in programming in all languages. Java, Lua, JavaScript, any language, you're going to need to know about variables. So today I'm going to show you on Roblox how to utilize them. So right here I have a new base plate created and I'm just going to create a new script in server script service and let's just name it variables. Now what a variable is, is a value that stores information. So in math you learn about variables, so maybe you would say x equals 1 or y equals 2, and that's how you do it in algebra or math. But in programming, what we do in Lua is we say local x equals 1 or local y equals 2, and that local is just something you need when you're coding on Roblox. Now, variables can be all different types of things. They can store some text, they can store a true or false value, they can store a number, they can store a bunch of different things. So, to store text in a variable, it's also known as a string. And the way we do that is we could say local, and then we say the variable name, so we'll just name this variable, equals, and then if we want to store text, as we did in the previous video about printing, we have double quotes because it's text and then we say whatever we want. So maybe we want variable to equal high and then maybe we want the next variable, we could say local variable one equals Wyatt. And you can have all these different variables and use them for different things. So this is an example of text variables, but what it, maybe we want to do a number variable. And the way we do that is say local variable equals zero, or variable equals one or two, or 399, or any number that you could think of. It includes negatives or anything like that. The final type of variable that I'll be covering today is a true or false variable, and that's also known as a Boolean variable. And all we have to do for that is say local variable equals true, or local variable equals false. Now, variables on their own are pretty cool, but we can do a lot more when we actually utilize them. So as you remember, in the previous tutorial, I showed you how to print things. So you could say print, hi, my name is Wyatt. But if we use variables, what we could say is local name, variable name, equals, and since it's text, we say Wyatt, and then we could say, hi print, hi my name is, and to the end of that, we can just add name, just like this, and, and you can see it'll print right here, hi my name is Wyatt. But, we now, instead of having to change all of this text when we want to change the person's name, all we have to do is change it in the variable. So we could say, local name equals George. And if we go back into the game, it'll change it just like that. It'll say, hi, my name is George. We can also store arithmetic in variables. So we could say, local num1 equals one, and maybe local num2 equals three. And we could say, local sum equals num1 plus num2. And then all we have to do is say print sum, and then it'll print the sum of the first variable plus the second variable. So, if we just go into the game, four. We can just change those numbers super easily, just by saying maybe we can do three plus three. And of course you all know that's six, but it's much easier for the computer when we just have it under a variable, because then we can read it a lot easier. Now, we can also use variables, as I was saying earlier, for true or false statements. So, right now it's Wednesday, or at least when I'm recording this, so we could say local Wednesday equals true. And then we could say print Wednesday. And if we go into the game, we'll say Wednesday is true. But now if we say Wednesday is false, maybe it's tomorrow at this point, and maybe it's Thursday, and I click play, see, Wednesday equals false. 
So those were just a few examples of how you can use variables, but you will use them everywhere when you're doing scripting on Roblox, from changing the colors of parts to different properties, to even doing if statements and more complex things that I'll be showing you in the future. So don't forget about variables, they're super important. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox, and I'll see you in the next video.